Welcome, Matt. Thanks so much for coming. Uh, this is such an interesting subject, Chris, um, crypto custody. And uh, I was wondering what you guys do at Base Zero. Yeah, thanks for asking. Uh, so Base Zero is a crypto custody solution. Uh, we're a technology platform, so we don't actually do custody ourselves. Okay. What we do is we, we provide a technology platform that financial institutions can use to keep their crypto secure. Okay, so who does the crypto custody? Mm -hmm. So we, we believe that a wide range of companies will do this uh, okay. as time goes on, but uh, everything from banks and brokerages to uh, probably even corporates in the future. Okay. Um, so just to clarify, you guys provide a platform, uh, an aggregated platform of people to be able to choose uh, who they want to do that? or. Uh, so the, 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 the institutions themselves actually hold custody. Got it. Uh, so they're 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 regulated entities. They Got have the, the 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 legal expertise to do that side of it, okay. and we help with the technology side of the equation. Got it. Okay, I understand now. Sorry for being a little <laughs> thick. <laughs> and um, I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about the what crypto custody is, because that's what people have been asking me since I've been promoting this. Mm -hmm. um, and I know it's quite a complex subject. Could you sure. make that simple for people <laughs> like me? Yeah. So uh, cu custody is kind of the, the the root of trust of the whole of the whole system. Yes. So uh, no matter what's layered on top, whether you're doing payments or uh, deposit accounts or trading or whatever, uh, somewhere at the bottom of that, someone needs to hold the assets. Right. Uh, and that's what custody is. Right. Uh, so in the case of crypto assets, what you're holding is actually a private key, uh, which is what you use to authorize transfers of funds and things like that. Uh, and so uh, if you're doing custody, that means that you're operationally responsible for keeping those assets secure. Okay. So was Mt. Gotts um, a crypto custody? That was a Vulcanized. crypto custody... Uh, sad story. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was in our past, so hopefully that won't occur again. But Well, I think we can expect to see more uh, incidents like that until uh, the ecosystem is more mature, and because it's actually pretty tricky to get this right right yes. now, uh, which is uh, why there are opportunities for businesses like ours to try to uh, package products that make it easier to do the right thing. Uh, because with crypto assets, there's no, you know, there's no going back. Like, if something is lost, it's lost forever. It's not like you know, if you, even if you have if you have a an ACH transfer or uh, you know, something like that, or, or identity theft, and someone's stolen their funds, you have recourse. Like often, you can get some of those assets back. Yes. With crypto, it's gone wow. in the wind. Wow. So, um, so it is a very critical piece of the whole um, moving puzzle, right? Mm -hmm. And um, how is um, how is custody done with normal fiat? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, th there's a there's a range there as well. So with a uh, you know with with a bank, it could just be a record in, in a ledger which says you know this this account holds this much, uh, yeah. and and those systems are audited and so forth, so, yeah. so that they, they they maintain some integrity. Um, but at the end of the day, it's the government who's backing them up and saying, yeah, those dollars are real. Uh, yeah. And in the case of crypto, it's a decentralized network that's providing the you know, the trust in the system. So it's a completely different kind of scenario. And I've been posting and reading articles lately about all the hacking that's been going on, um, two big um, crypto hacks recently. Mm -hmm. Mil millions went. Um, mm -hmm. So um, I guess this is pretty risky territory, right? Mm -hmm. If we, we all love Bitcoin and uh, STOs, but I, I gather it's still pioneer territory, is it? Yeah, it is. There are definitely growing pains, and as right. we as we saw in in 2017, for example, this this exponential growth, yes. uh, and coming with that, uh, you know, we have a lot of uninitiated people and organizations who are uh, trying to learn how to uh, how to how to cope with this ecosystem, yeah. including us. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so um, my last question is, where do you think this is all going? Like, what's the vision, your personal vision of how crypto custody will work in the future? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's an exciting time because we are still very much in the uh, at the beginning of this journey. Uh, and we're seeing a ton of innovation and we're going to continue to see lots of new companies and new approaches to this problem coming out, right. uh, of which Base Zero is one, of course. Uh, but uh, we'll, it will eventually mature. And I think, you know, there will be 
uh, a few relatively standard ways to do this, uh, which will be adopted by all the institutions which need to to maintain custody. So and for people like you and me, we'll trust a, you know, a bank to do it just oh, as we do with other assets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, but t today, the banks don't, don't have these facilities yet. Uh, and there isn't a regulatory framework for them to be confident to enter into it. Uh -huh. So we're in this transitional period. Uh, but that's, that's not going to last forever. And I think it'll, it'll become as, uh, as commonplace as, as other assets today. Fabulous. Well, I wish you all the success um, with Thank Base Zero. You. And uh, looking forward to this panel tonight. I'm going to learn more, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to it as well. Thank you.